What's going on guys? Proof here and today is going to be Nisa's deck profile. It's slightly different from what he played at teams because he updated it with the, the stuff from G7 if I remember right. Yeah. And so he's going to go through the deck profile that he can mention where the spots were different at the time of teams. So hop to it. Alrighty. So uh, for my starter I'm running Hope Child Turio. Um, play this. Don't play anything else. Don't be bad. Her skill is to counter boss one um, to put her to soul. Non-generation break restricted, and then you can damage swap from hand. Um, I guess the other the other one is the generation break one restricted one. It's counter boss one, put her to soul, and choose a face-up card from your damage zone, and put it to your hand, and choose a card from your deck, and put it to your damage zone. Um, I like this better because it's more toolboxy, and it, it synergizes well with um, uh, the next grade three I'm going with. Um, four, I love Sniper No Seal. She is the MVP. She allows me to draw cards, and she allows me to cycle and just filter. She's really good. Her skill, her on right skill is when she's placed on Vanguard Circle, I can damage swap. And then her secondary skill is to counter boss one, and um, when a no-seal is put into the damage zone, I can um, put that card back into my deck if it's face up, and choose a card, or put the top card of my deck into my damage zone. So there's some, some interesting combos that I'll go in through um, later. Next up for the for my alt boss, I'm running three uh, Black Shiver Gabriel. Um, her generation break two skill is um, when anything goes into the damage zone, the front row gets plus skills and power, um, and it stacks and it's continuous, so it's good. Um, her on stride ability is the counter boss one. Look at the top three cards of your deck, uh, put one in your damage zone, and superior call a card a face up card from your damage zone and call it to rear guard. So, um, very good card. Um, she's good against, like, control matchups. That's why I'm running her at three. Um, I know people run the... F I used to run the four grade three deck, but, um, just wasn't as consistent as this one, so. Yeah. Next up, for grade twos, I'm running one, uh, Dreamlight Unicorn. Oh. <laughs> Alright. P.S. You don't shuffle. <laughs> so, basically, at teams, I play this card, um... And then when no seals, no seal stride skill, I put her into my damage zone and then called her back out. When, once you heal a damage, or you put a damage from your from your your damage zone to the to the graveyard, um, or once she leaves the rear guard circle and you look at the top two cards and put a damage, you do not shuffle the deck. My opponent decided to shuffle my deck when I did not hand him the deck. So there was a whole ordeal. We missed like ten minutes of the game. Um, Ultimately, it made us get a double loss because of the time. But her skill is to counter boss one and basically heal a face-up damage. And then when she leaves rear guard, you look at the top two cards and you put one into your damage zone. And the rest to the bottom of the deck. <laughs> um, next up, I'm running three million ray pegasus. Before, um, at teams, actually, this was her route. But I found her route was a little too slow and I never actually made the combo plays that I wanted to. So I, I, I changed it back to um to, to Million Ray. His skill is when anything goes into the damage zone, he gets plus 2,000 power. So basically the, the same as Gabriel. And next up I'm running, um, since this is, this is a no-seal deck, I'm running uh, 4 Love Machine Gun no-seal. Her skill is when she's placed on Rearguard Circle to um, damage swap. Choose a card from your hand and put it in your damage zone. And choose a card from your damage zone and put it to your hand. Um, she's really good because she synergizes again with things like the Grade 3 No Seal, and she powers up um, if you're on her in your Generation Break uh, 2. So she's just a good card, and she has, she's a No Seal, so uh, you can draw her when she goes into the damage zone. And then for the most broken Grade 2 in the game... I mean, I don't know about most broken Grade 2 in the game. <laughs> um, top 5. Um, this is Nurse of Broken Heart. Her skill is um, she gets plus 2 of the power... Savannah, hello. <laughs> Ignore that, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, her, her skill is is when anything goes in the damage zone, she gains plus two on the power as well as my vanguard. So um, she combos really well with Gabriel with No Seal Grade Three. Um, she's just a really good deck, and it works on your opponent's turn. So um, if you take a damage on your opponent's turn. She powers up. She makes her Vanguard a cross ride, so it's really good. Um, next up for grade ones, I'm running four. These used to be the regular uh, PGs, but I'm running four rescue PGs right now because 
Why not? Um, the skill is counter boss one when she is in the damage zone face up. You may pay the cost. If you do, um, rescue one. And rescue is you heal a damage and you deal a damage to your vanguard. So if, uh, if it's a stand trigger, you stand one of your rear guards. If it's a crit trigger, your vanguard getting the crit. Um, just a very good card. Next up, I'm running um, four Battle Cupid Nocio, grade one. This card is amazing. This is actually the card that should be hit, not... It, the car, this, the skill is when she's put into the guardian circle, um, you get to choose a card from your hand, put it to your damage zone, and choose a card from your damage zone and put it to your hand. And let's say you're on no seal grade three, and you guard with no seal grade one, you put another no seal on your damage zone, and for example, you have like a, a broken heart right there. Your vanguard gets plus four thousand power because you're you're damage swapping four cards in one turn. So it's just just a really good card. You mean two um, cards? Yeah, your 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 Vanguard gets plus four thousand power, but you're um, you're demo swapping two cards. My apologies. Next up, we're running three Stride Fodders, um, one shiny Stride Fodder. Um, pretty self-explanatory. She searches for Gabriel. Um, if you're really great three, and she pitches right. Then next up, I'm running three Pegasus. Um, Pegasus is when anything goes into damage zone, it gets plus two thousand power. So yeah, pretty good. And next up for triggers, um, I'm running four loop de loop refros. Um, his skill is to counter blast one. Choose two units from your damage zone, shuffle them back into your deck as well as himself, and then put two cards from the top of your deck into your damage zone and draw a card. So as you can tell, this this card combos really well with No Seal, with Gabriel if you have a strid in, with all the ponies, and this is just this 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 is the deck pretty much. It make, makes the deck get ridiculous power columns. Then I'm running three Happy Bell Nocio, which is um, the Nocio stand trigger. And it says push the soul and damage swap. Pretty self-explanatory and it has a Nocio in his name, so you can get that back to hand. Um, the next up I'm running um, five crit. This was, I was actually running four of this crit at teams and then one regular crit, but since the, the new... Um, Hearthstone Burger crit came out for Angels. I just decided to run it. Um, so five crit, and then four heal. Um, yeah, the heal is the one that shuffles back into the deck at the end of the end of the turn. So pretty good. Yeah, and then next up for my stride zone. This is w what mostly changed um, from teams, but pretty much the same, just exception of these four cards. Um, I'm running four Black Seraph Gabriel. Ignore that one. That's not pretty. Um, nor the non-SP one. Uh, her skill is to counter blast one and choose a copy of herself and turn it face up. And she gains, uh, rescue two. At the end of the battle she attacks, you heal two damage and do two damage to yourself. So effectively five dry checks in one turn. So it's really good. Um, and then her secondary skill is when anything goes into the damage zone during your main phase, you choose two units, um, or during your battle phase, my apologies. You choose two units and they gain plus two down power. So, um... Her rescue two ability goes off, and two units gets plus four, so it's really good. Then I'm um, running four Holy Seraph Raphael. Her skill is free heal, so flip up a copy and heal. Um, so I knew that should not be three. Well, not at all. All right, cost a counter blast, and you just heal the counter blast to it damage. Cost a counter blast, heal a face up damage. Yeah, whatever. Yep. Um, Agreed. Then I'm running one Holy Seraph No Seal. This was the replacement because before I was running four. Um, now I'm running three of her. Um, now I'm running four of her. I was running four no-seal before, so, yeah. Her skill is, um, it's really good. It allows you to get extra attacks off, and it changed really well with things like Nurse, nurse or Broken Heart. Her skill is in the end of the battle she attacked. You can choose, you have to choose two of your rear guards, um, and put them into your damage zone, and choose two units from your damage zone and call them to rear guard. And then if they have no-seal in their name, they get plus 5,000 power. So, um, it makes some power columns as well, and it buffs up your, your other rear guards that have um, damage swap abilities. I'm running my uh, final turn boss if I haven't killed him with Gabriel. His skill is Soul Blast 2 and shuffle your damage back into your deck and put the amount of cards you shuffled back with his effect um, into your damage zone. So if you're at 5 damage, you damage swap 5 times and effectively you get plus 10 to your board if you have the right board. Then I'm running one Zeratual for those matches if I'm running if I'm playing um 
like a Kagero and I, and I ride on to Gabriel instead of Nosio. I like to play with Zeratul so I can get that early GB2. Her skill is counter boss one and flip up something. And sh um, if I have a face up card in my G in my damage zone, the front row gets plus three thousand power. And if I'm at five damage, she gets an additional plus ten k. So pretty good. Um, and if I run out of strides, she's really good too. Um, next up, one she breeze. She breeze is self explanatory. Everyone runs she breeze because you don't want to get rushed down or anything. Um, his skill is counter boss two and discard a card, and you stride on top of them. And it's an axe skill, so you can do all your, your effects before you use them, which is really good. And then for G guards, I'm running two uh, dismal, just because um, this deck really relies on your, your rear guards, so you want to protect them as much as you can. AKA your broken heart. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> um, his his skill is basically when he's put in the guardian circle, you choose one of your rear guards, and that rear guard gains resist, and it cannot be attacked or nor targeted or anything. You can't do anything to it, even with choose effects. Um, screw just one screw. His skill is uh, you discard a card, and he gains an additional 10k power. You'd have a face up. Jesus. Yeah, if you have a face up card, you choose of course. And then one um, holy seraph serial. Her skill. It is counter blast one. Look at the top card of your deck. You choose to put it at the bottom. If not, um, you keep it there and you rescue one. So pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. well, and that's my deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright guys. Peace. Be easy. Bye-bye.